what we have been doing is working with the Department for Business uh, in launching what is grandly called an Innovation Prize. And the idea of Innovation Prizes is, is that you know, there's, there's something you, you know could be a, something that could help the people of Britain, but you don't know exactly what it looks like. So it's a way of uncovering what's going on and what's best of the ideas that are out there. This Innovation Prize was called the Buy Better Together Challenge. Uh, not pretty, but it, it does what it says on the tin. It was about getting a better deal by coming together to purchase. So we launched that uh, across the UK, uh, promoted it across the UK, and we had, an, I have to say, you know, an avalanche of, of, of entries. Um, and when we'd sifted through, we'd got to 110 and we started to work down, it was clear that Smarter Buys uh, was an exceptional uh, kind of candidate in this field. Why? Because it had ambition, uh, because it had scale, and because it, it wasn't trying to do something that was too abstract, it was actually trying to do something that was very practical. Uh, and the very practical side of it is about everyday essentials. It's about people's needs when things go wrong. It's about rooted in a knowledge of how easy it is for people to have to turn to high cost, expensive forms of credit, friendly forms of credit. Don't get me wrong, the companies involved in this scene know how to market, they know what language uh, to, to use. You just pay eye-watering rates to get there. And Smartabuy said, we can take on this market, we can do something different and do it through partnership aggregating through housing associations working together, through credit unions working together. So it is a, a multi-level uh, collaborative scheme that was a, a really worthy uh, kind of candidate within the prize. We didn't know it was going to win. And so we went through, we supported the, um, the, the shortlisted candidates, uh, working with them on their business plan. And actually, one of the things I, I give huge credit to the Northern Housing Consortium and the team behind uh, the Smarter Buys store, you know, kind of which is going out now through franchises, is that they've chopped and changed. You know, businessmen know, we know that you can't just have a business plan and just go, you, you, you have to adapt. And the scheme has adapted to what's needed. It's found its own way through, walking a bit like a crab to make it work. So the, the model changed, but the level of ambition had not. And when we pulled together the, the, the judging panel uh, to, to, to look at this and to see progress, there was no doubt that Smarter Buys was a worthy national inaugural winner of the Cooperative Oscars, the Buy Better Together Challenge. Housing associations are ideally placed to be aggregators, to be able to meet people's needs, individual choices. Nobody tells you if you go on the Smarter Buy site, you know, what washing machine to buy or what bed to buy. You know, it's individual consumer choice, but with the aggregation and the value and the discount that comes from buying together. I'm really worried about the year 2013. It's when a lot of changes are going to happen to people's incomes and a lot of the pressures they've been suffering under the last couple of years are going to get worse, not better. We know that people in Britain are facing what I call a perfect storm. Basically, they've lost their jobs or they've had their hours cut, their wages aren't keeping rate with prices and the cost of living is just going up and up. And in the middle of all of that, all these companies are targeting them. Now, I'm never going to judge anybody who is borrowing to put food on the table or keep a roof above their head or try and fix a leaky washing machine because they need to be able to wash their kids' school uniform. But we have to try and find all the ways that we can to help people. 2013, the average energy bill is going to hit £1,300 a household. A lot of the changes to housing benefit, to the bedroom tax, the universal credit, they're all going to come in as well. People are really, really going to be under pressure. Now, I'm going to do what I can in Parliament to challenge all of that and to try and get the government to understand that we need to help people when they're struggling with the cost of living. But we also need to do things in our local communities now to make sure those people who are really vulnerable to all these changes get the best advice and support they can. That's why I think schemes like the Sparta by problem are really really important because they give people an opportunity to make an alternative choice.
Let me give you a great example from my own constituency. Um, I had a series of people who lived in a tower block where it was all being done up under the Decent Homes Initiatives who had their cookers condemned. The residence officer said to them, well, why don't you just go to Bright House and get a new cooker? For those people, that would have been financially catastrophic. So being able to work with people at the point when they might need new white goods to make sure that they're making choices that don't lead them into further debt in the future is absolutely critical. Often housing associations are at the pinpoint of that. They'll be the ones struggling with tenants who suddenly find themselves not getting as much housing benefit or people who are finding that they're just not able to get the work to make sure they can keep food on their table. So when you've got people who have good relationships in a local community working with people to try and find affordable alternative ways to make sure they have the goods they need or they have the credit they need, that's the best way we can protect people against the changes that are happening right now. I'm looking around for any ways that we can help people make good choices and I think what's interesting to me about the Smarter Buys project is that's obviously looking at one way you can help people. It's also why I'm passionate about credit unions and making sure that housing associations are working with credit unions so that people have access to alternative, more affordable sources of credit. It's in everyone's interest that we try and manage these pressures on people because the consequences, whether it's people not being able to pay their rent or the emotional social consequences we see when people get into debt are horrific. Now we know that one in three payday loans is taken out to pay off another payday loan, that people get stuck into a spiral. But actually the problems in this country are not just about payday loans. They're about all these companies, like Bright House, who charge high rates of interest for, for goods because they know that they are the only source of credit that people have. The more alternatives we can offer people, the more competition there is, the better it is for everyone.